Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I was tagged by Carol, who is one happy crafty chick, here on YouTube to do the get to know you craft tag, and she was like laughing all kinds of evilly when she tagged us, so I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I thought I'd go on ahead and do the tag, and I know I've done another tag that was kind of similar, um... But I think these tags are fun. Like, there's one going around on YouTube for the beauty people that's, like, um, beauty or makeup things that I suck at. And I think it would, like, be super funny to do, like, the thing, the crafty things I suck at tag. Like, that would be funny. But <laughs> I just I just think that would be funny. I'm sure there's people that would get all bent out of shape about it and all offended. But uh, they're no fun anyway. <laughs> So anyway, on to the get to know you craft tag. I was going to do my face on camera for this, but then I chickened out. So yeah, <laughs> I'm giving you some sneaky peekies down here. Um, mostly CC designs. Um, I've really been trying to pull stamps out that I've gotten recently that I haven't had time to uh, play with yet. So um so yeah, and that's my first redhead girl. She turned out really good. And then that's one of my snowflake girls. Um, I'll do the, like, this is a little baggie from um, dyes that I got from Paper Tray Ink. And like, if I'm in the mood for coloring, I'll stamp out lots of things and color them and then put them in bags like this. And then I have uh, pre-colored images to use on cards. So anyway, continuing on to the tag. <laughs> Uh, the question number one is, what is your new tomb name? What is your real name? My YouTube name is B.A. Crafty Girl, and my real name is Bethany, and my YouTube name is B.A., because those are my initials, and when I was in college, that was, like, my nickname, B.A., so, yeah, lots of people called me that, and then, um, I'm a crafty girl, so, there you go. B.A. Crafty Girl. And then my real name is Bethany and, and it's spelled normal <laughs> with a Y. And, and I love my name. Like if I could have a Bethany Jr., I'd do that. <laughs> like when I have a baby someday. But that might be weird, so I won't. Uh, number two, how did you get started with crafting? Um, my mom is pretty crafty and my dad was pretty crafty too. Uh, um, um, my dad was, you know, like woodworking and stuff like that. And, um, like he could build like anything, but that's cause he's like a math person. Um, and he was just really good at that. And then my mom, when we were little, like she would do craft fairs with her friend and they'd do like, the cross stitch things and like those little mini baby quilts and like painting the little wood things and like the little chalkboards and use the white paint pen on them uh it was like you know so totally 80s <laughs> and early 90s but you know like really cute stuff and so my mom we didn't have a whole lot of money growing up but um she always wanted to make sure that we were able to have at least like a little bit of, you know, experience with crafty stuff. And when I was a fourth grader, she put both of the coffee tables together. Cause we had two little coffee tables. She put them both together and she put all this paper and Christmas stamps on there. And it just stayed there from like November until the middle of December. And we made our own Christmas cards that year. And that was kind of, um, my first experience stamping and I loved it. It was like awesome. And you could just come home from school and sit down and make a card. It was like so cool. And that only happened one time, but it made like such an impact on me on crafting. And then when they would do like the little craft fairs, like I'd have my little seed beads and I, and I actually sold like a couple little bracelets that I made. It was a lot of fun, but you know, always into crafting. And I was definitely like, I had Barbies and dolls and stuff, but I would have much rather had, like, coloring books and crayons and markers and stuff like that. And, uh, oh, but I loved my Rainbow Bright dolls, too. So, <laughs> my Rainbow Bright dolls and my Popples. So, I mean, I liked doing that, but I really liked having the colors, too, and the drawing utensils. 
Um, number three, my favorite crafting brand. I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite crafting brand, but my favorite crafty item is definitely stamps. And um, <clears throat> if you've seen my room tour video that I did recently, um, I have a lot of stamps and like the stamps I have in my craft room that I show in my video are not all my stamps. Like I have stamps in closets too. <laughs> So, I mean, um, I love stamps, which is kind of funny because when I was younger, I was like, I don't understand stamps because why don't you just draw what you want to do? But now I totally get it. Like, I love stamps. And then, uh, so I guess favorite crafting brand, like, I don't know, like, I love stamps. And I love image stamps, but to color, but I also like, um, you know, like solid one, solid image designs that you just do one layer cards with and stuff too. Um, and I just recently, within the last couple of years, got into 6x6 six six paper. Like, I was, I totally missed the boat on that. But I'm making up for it. <laughs> Number four, my favorite color is uh, blue. But um, I'm really into the BV colors. Like, my Copic BV colors. Like, this is BV02. Um, they're like bluey purples. Like, blurples. I love them. Which is kind of funny, because I've never... Um, I've never been a purple person until the last maybe year and a half, but um, loving the blurples for real. Um, I also like rainbow things. I know that probably sounds silly, but like, let me see if I can, yeah. Like this washi with the, like the rainbow or this washi. With the rainbow like I love rainbowy things I just think they're fun um, the next question is number five what is your crafting style I don't know that I necessarily have a set crafting style but if I had to pick one it would be cutesy because I love cute stuff like check this out this is another sneak sneak peek made some little popsicle I love these with the little smiley faces love them so I guess cutesy would be my style. I'm not, I know I'm not like grunge or vintage or shabby chic or anything like that. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> um, but I'm not, you know, clean lines and has to be centered on the page and stuff like that either. So I guess I'm cutesy and then can I say like edgy, I guess? I don't know. Um, my, oh. What, where am I? Oh, that was number five, and now I'm on number six. What is something you would like to try? Altered item, Copic coloring, etc. Uh, I guess I'd, you know, it's not something I'd try because I have tried it before, but I really want to get more into uh, watercoloring. Like, I have watercolor pencils, and I really need to pull them out and, and use them because I haven't done that in a long, long time. Um, and watercoloring is something I love, I used to love to do, like, in high school, it was a lot of fun. Um, number seven, my favorite YouTube channel. I don't know that I have a favorite YouTube channel, but I do have channels that, you know, I'm excited when, uh, I see a new video from them. I get a lot of my card-making cues from Prairie Paper and Ink, and she's Amy R., and she, um, makes a lot of cards and she makes the uh, sentiment stamps for CC designs. I just really love how she puts cards together and her layering and her coloring. I just really like it and I get a lot of inspiration from her. Um, I love watching Carol because she's hilarious. She's one happy crafty chick. She always makes me laugh and smile, which is good. And then uh, someone on YouTube that I watch that is not a crafty person, she's more like a beauty person. I watch uh, Graveyard Girl on YouTube. She is so freaking funny. <laughs> like, I love her videos. They make me smile too. Um, so um, you should check her out. I think she's hilarious. Um, and then, of course, when we're talking about fave YouTube channel, my favorite videos to watch are haul videos because I love watching what other people get. And, you know, I live four and a half my, my, blah, blah, four and a half hours away from a Michael's or a Joann's or a Hobby Lobby. So, um, 
you know, I don't get to go very often and it's really nice to watch Michael's Halls or Joanne Halls or Hobby Lobby Halls and kind of know what I'm looking for or would like to look at when I do get to go because I don't get to go very often and I usually don't have very much time either. So I like to kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for and that helps a lot. Um, the next one is if you only had $10 in your pocket, what would you buy and where? I, well, I do a lot of shopping online because... I don't have local access to a lot of stuff. And as I said, my nearest crafty stores are um, four and a half hours away. And there is like a localish scrapbook store like an hour and 15 minutes away, but they don't sell um, a lot of stamps or Copics or anything like that. They're mostly a scrapbooking store. They don't have a whole lot of other stuff. But if I had $10 in my pocket, what, what would you buy and where? I would totes buy stamps. And I don't even think it matters where. Well, and my favorite is Scrapbook Store, Scrapbook Garden. They closed like two years ago, which was such a bummer because they had like everything, like stamps and scrapbooking stuff and Sizzix stuff. It was awesome. But it, sadly, it is no more. It's a Quiznos now. <laughs> but um, I would buy stamps. And I don't even think it matters where from. I would just buy stamps. Um, Number nine. When you start crafting, what is the one item that helps you put it all together? And when I very first heard that question, I was like, well, adhesive, duh. But then I was like, oh, maybe that's a smart ass question. <laughs> maybe that's a smart ass answer. And I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so the one thing that helps me put it all together is probably my uh, Spellbinder dies. Um, you know, I can have stamps and I can have paper, but um, my Spellbinder's dies actually help me um, make something kind of plain Jane into something not so plain Jane and sort of fabulous without a whole ton of effort. Um, so I love my spellbinder dies. My spellbinder dies. Um, and number 10, if you would have never heard of crafting, what other hobby would you have picked up? Um, it's hard to say because, um, well, in high school I played basketball. I was totes into it, um, but I gave it up for a violin. I play violin, and I actually went to college as a music major for three years and then decided that it was not my cup of tea. I have been playing violin since I was four. I know I've talked about that too. So, um, I, I mean, I played violin before I ever really was a crafter, so... Um, I would have, I mean, I would have had violin for sure. And then I was into, you know, basketball and other sports too. Like when I was really younger, I played soccer and volleyball and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, so I would definitely still have violin and I still play. I play here in the little community orchestra. Um, we meet once a week and play and then we have concerts. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, I have that. Uh, I would continue to play my violin. And then on uh, number 11, what number one item do you recommend to newbies to have? And that is such a hard question. Everyone has said that though, that it's a very hard question. And it really is because it's not a cheap hobby and it's not like, well, I guess you could buy, you know, a little piece of paper and a little sticker and call it good. But, um, and everyone has said a good paper trimmer, but I don't know. I guess it also depends on what kind of crafting you want to do, too. Does that make sense? But, um, since everyone has set a paper trimmer, I think I might say, like, a stamp. <laughs> but that's kind of hard to say, because to have a stamp, you also have to have a stamp pad. And if it's an image stamp, then you also have something need to have something to color the image with. But I guess I've seen people, like, stamp image stamps on pattern paper, and it's turned out really cute, so I guess you wouldn't have to have stuff to color it. But, um, oh, what if I said, like, a made-by stamp? Aha! There we go, a made-by stamp. I like that idea. <laughs> so that you can stamp your project so everyone knows that you made it. All right, and that is the end of the questions. So I hope everyone enjoyed listening to my answers, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!